Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. It's been a while since we've done any videos and I apologize for that. The reason is is I've not been very well. Um I've been suffering with a, like a few headaches and stuff and um it's it's kind of off putting making videos when you feel like that. So um but I want to get back into it as we hit into year three of our channel um and our community building. So um we're gonna be starting off with some informational tutorials where we're going to talk about um uh can, this call of continuation from my other informational series where we're just basically going to be talking about um what certain nodes do and why you might use them and today we're going to be talking about the clamp so if we type in clamp we will have a few options here we'll bring them up one by one we have a clamp float we have a clamp integer we have a clamp angle. We have a clamp uh, axis. There are many others. Uh, the other one you may see here as well is vector size. You probably already understand what this does, but to put it in uh, to perspective, what this will do is clamp a um, a variable in two in between two points, so A and B. For example, with a float, most floats range from zero to one. You may say uh, you have, for example, the, ma the main reason I use floats are for things like health bars. For example, if you have a hundred health points, you might run in a um, variable. Let's call this one uh, health, uh, current health. And we'll make that a type float. If we drag that out, our current health will go through this and irrelevant of what's happening, whether we are minusing or adding health, this will ensure it stays within that figure. So let's say we've been attacked and we're losing 10 health. So we take our current health, we minus off the 10 and we make sure that this variable sits between zero and 100. And then when it outputs, it will output whatever value is dependent in that clamp. So for example, if we had five health left and we minus off 10, typically we would see minus five health. However, because we have our minimum set to zero, it will never go beyond zero. So that exit point would become zero. Same things with the integer, but this just works with whole numbers. Again, if I had a currency, and I didn't want my currency to go below zero, we could use a clamp to ensure that it never goes past zero. And if we only ever wanted the player to have like 9 million uh, currency at any time, we could also make sure that the max stops it from going past 9 million in currency. So very similar to our float clamp. We also have a few others. Uh, we can clamp the axis between zero and uh, 360. Uh, so again, we can have the angle come in and it will make sure that it doesn't go beyond those two values. Very useful if you want a rotate, uh, a very uh, linear rotation. We also have clamp angle. So again, a lot of people ask why what you would use this for. Uh, mainly I would use this for things like if I had a security camera system or I had some form of a sentry that would only turn a 90 degree angle, uh, you might use this to say, okay, it can only ever rotate between zero and 90 and everything else would get ignored so the rotation angle would come in and we would output to make sure it never goes past zero or 90 um, or you might say okay i only want it to do a semicircle, so we might say minus 90 and 90 and it can never go past that half circle things like clamping vector sizes as well uh, again you might bring a vector in and you just want to keep it within a range um, as well so all very useful stuff but hopefully you'll know a bit more now of what to use clamps for um, but yeah, very short first episode to bring us back into the this um, making videos. Uh, so as I say, thank you so much. We're on the road to 10,000 this year. We want to hit 10,000 subscribers this year. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot. And I will see you in the next informational video. Much love. Take care. Bye.